hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x factorial is equals to x cubed minus x and we solve this problem for all the values of x and at the last we will be verify that which of the values of x are solution of this equation and which of the values of x are extraneous root uh, and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution of this problem and the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to focus into the right hand side and we have this is x factorial is equals to this is x cubed minus x and here you see that x is lies on both of these two terms so that we will take common x from here and when we take common x we get the remaining values are from here we get this is x square minus from here we get one only and in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is x square minus this is one and we write one as one square and further in the next step here we need to use the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and after applying this formula to the uh, above term into the left right hand side it will be written as this is x times of here we have x square minus 1 square becomes x minus 1 times of x plus 1 and now you see here in the right hand side we have uh, the term that is x into x minus 1 so that here we just break this factorial sign up to uh, x minus 1 term and you know about that uh, uh, how we expand uh, this factorial sign so you just uh, expand this factorial sign and you get uh, all uh, remaining uh, all next term then you get the previous term by minus 1 so when we expand this one it will be written as x times of x minus 1 into here we just subtract 1 with x you get x minus 1 and we again subtract 1 with uh, minus 1 we get x minus 2 and we just break it here it will becomes x minus 2 factorial and this is equals to x times of x minus 1 and x plus 1 okay so further in the next step here you see that both of these two terms involve these two same terms so that here we just cancel out uh, these two terms okay so this x into x minus 1 is cancelled out by this x into x minus 1 and we get the remaining values are in the left hand side we get x minus 2 factorial is equals to in the right hand side we will get x plus 1 only okay uh, so here uh, we need uh, to uh, focus into the right hand side and we rewrite this x plus 1 as uh, we write it as x minus 2 and plus 3 because minus 2 plus 3 becomes here plus 1 so here you see that uh, on both of the sides we have x minus 2 be the common term so here uh, we need uh, to substitute uh, our x minus 2 is equals to y okay so when you put x minus 2 equals to y uh, then our above equation is uh, written as in this form in the left hand side we have y factorial is equals to in the right hand side we have uh, y plus 3 okay so here we just uh, write our cubic uh, equation into the simple linear form and now here in the next step we need uh, uh, to just move this y from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become the y factorial minus y is equals to plus 3 and here uh, we again break this y factorial and uh, we write this y factorial as y into y minus 1 factorial and this is minus y and this whole equation is equals to 3 and now here uh, we need to take common y from here and when we take common y we get the remaining values are y minus 1 <coughs> y, here we get y minus 1 factorial minus here we get only 1 and 
this whole equation is equal to 3 and now here in the next step we just divide both of the sides by y because here y is multiplied by here when we move it into the right hand side uh, it is divided by 3 and it will become y minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equals to 3 divided by y and now here uh, we have time uh, to just uh, uh, checking uh, the values of y so here we just uh, substitute the values of y and we check its behavior so here uh, if uh, we will just take uh, y is equals to 1 uh, so when we take y equals to 1 here we get the value of y by inspection which is satisfied over this equation so when we put y equals to 1 on both of the sides it will becomes 1 minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equals to 3 divided by 1 and this implies that 1 minus 1 becomes here 0 factorial minus 1 equals to 3 so 0 factorial becomes 1 minus 1 equals to 3 and here we easily get 0 equals to 3 so this means that 0 is not equals to 3 uh, or in other words we just say that it is not possible it is not possible that 0 equals to 3 so that we rejected this case okay because it does not satisfy our given question so here we rejected this value of y equals to 1 and now here we again take a y is equals to 2 and uh, when we choose y is equals to 2 then we again substitute this value of y into this equation and after choosing this into the given into this equation it will be written as so this will become here 2 minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equals to 3 divided by 2 and here we have 2 minus 1 becomes here 1 factorial minus 1 is equals to 3 divided by 2 and here you again clearly see that this will becomes 0 equals to 3 divided by 2 it again does not satisfy our given question statement so we uh, again uh, rejected this value and now here we move towards our next value so here in the same pattern uh, we will choose uh, y is equals to 3 and when we put y equals to 3 to the above equation it will be written as 3 minus 1 factorial and minus 1 is equals to 3 divided by 3 so here uh, we need uh, more simplifications and it will be written as this 3 and 3 are gone and we will get here 3 minus 1 becomes uh, 2 factorial minus 1 is equals to 1 and 2 factorial becomes 2 minus 1 equals to 1 and we get here 1 equals to 1 so this shows that the value of y equals to 3 satisfied our Bobby equation so this means that uh, y equals to 3 be the only uh, value which satisfied our Bobby equation and now here uh, we move backward and we uh, we know about that we substitute our x minus 2 is equals to y and here we put this value of y here and we easily get the value of x so we get x minus 2 is equals to 3 so here we obtain x is equals to 3 plus 2 and we get the value of x is equals to 5 so this is the value of x which we get here and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not and so for this we copy down given question statement here it is x factorial is equals to x cubed minus x and here we put this value of x on both of the sides and we check that this is 5 factorial and this is 5 cubed minus 5 and further here in the next step 5 factorial means that we multiply 5 4 3 2 and 1 and this 5 cube means that 125 minus 5 and when we multiply all of these values we get here 120 is equals to 120 so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of x equals to 5 is satisfied our given question statement so that uh, finally we have the solution set of this question is x is equals to 5. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.